So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Going Playground. Today we'll be making a game called Save the Turkey. Since Thanksgiving is coming up at the end of the month, so we might uh, we thought we might make a Thanksgiving themed game. Uh, we had many requests on um, making a shooting game on our channel. So um, so I hope you like it guys. So we're gonna be making a game called Save the Turkey. And then we're gonna be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Using variables to control an action, loops, broadcasting messages, controlling sprite with the mouse, and sensing blocks. So let's go on to demo the game. So let's make a full screen. So the point of the game is to get 20 score um, without losing all of your bullets. So you're supposed to shoot the bats before not letting them touch the turkey. So. Um, and oh, shooting a coin will give you score as well. Killing a bat will also give you score as well. One one point. Um, shooting a bat will give you one point. So when you get to 20 score, then you win. Without losing all your bullets. So this is pretty much the game. Um, and you don't want to let them touch your turkey. Because if the bats touch your turkey, then you will lose three lives. Um, three points, sorry. Three points. So, um... And if you have less than three points, then you just go to zero score. So yeah, let's uh, start a new project. So new project. Um, so we're gonna rename it to uh, Save the Turkey. Save the Turkey. And we're gonna delete the Scratch Cat. We don't need it. And um, we have some stuff in our backpack. So right now I'm gonna go to the backdrop. And then I'm gonna put the back this thing in so I got this backdrop from online and oh yeah one more thing so we will be uploading all of these sprites that you will need in um, our kids coding playground Google Drive so you can just download them and we are still having a lot of people asking for access in our email um, you guys do not need access you guys can access it just don't use your school account because the school blocks it from letting you use it so you have to use your own personal Gmail and also, if you want to learn how to do that, just watch our video on how to accessing the Google Drive. So, yeah. And, by the way, these, this coin looks a little bit bad because I made this game back in 2.0. So, um, it converted everything to bitmap. That's why it's a little bit pixelated. So, we have the, the target uh, aimer. I guess the cursor. And we have the bat. This bat, you cannot get it from the sprite library anymore. So we will be putting this in the Google Drive. Um, it was in 2.0, but it's not in 3.0 anymore. Um, and then we have the ground sprite. So this is just to detect. So when the bat, when you shoot a bat, it will flip over and fall onto the ground. So it will detect if it's touching the ground, then it will um, disappear. And then we have the UN and you lose sprites and then these two this is just a score just we put the score right here and the bullet and then we have the turkey as well so yeah these are all of our sprites we'll be using so first let's start out on the target i'm gonna name it target first so target what i did was just draw a circle right here draw a thinner circle right here and then draw four lines like that to make it look like a target you guys can draw it any way you'd like but this is how we drew it um so let's go to the code let's gotta go to events when green flag is clicked and zoom in when the green flag is clicked we want to make the target or cursor go to the middle go to zero zero and wait 0 0.5 seconds so you cannot move it for 0 0.5 seconds just like um to wait a little bit just give a slight pause and then put a forever loop. Um, so we're going to set the X to the mouse X and set the Y to the mouse Y. So set the X and Y. So go to sensing, set the mouse X to mouse X, set the Y to mouse Y. So then I'll follow your mouse. And then we want to make it to go to the front layer. Go to front layer. And then if, let's get an if then statement. If there's mouse down, so like when you click down, when the mouse is down, then I have a sound called 9mm. It's just like the gun sound. So I'm just going to put that right here. 
Um, and then we're gonna make another broadcast. So we're gonna make a broadcast message down here. So we're gonna broadcast a message called shot, shot fired. So this will signal um, the uh, uh, target to fire, I mean the bullet to fire. And we have two sounds right here. You can either use the blast or the 9mm. So, and so we have a blast and 9mm. You can use either of them. So shots fired, then that means it will like, broadcast the gun to shoot the bat. Okay, and then we're gonna make some variables. We're gonna make two new variables called bullet. Oops. Bullet. And we need to make another variable called score. I'm actually need to show this. Score. So what we're gonna do is double click right here, so then it'll be like that. And then so this is bullet and this is score. As you can see, now you can just double so just double click and then it'll just become small. Okay, so now we put these inside the boxes. Okay, so now let's continue. Let's go back to the target. Um, after this, we want to change the bullets by negative one. After a shot is fired, change the bullet by negative one. And then uh, we're going to wait 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, so this is the code for the target. So now you can actually kind of move around like this. And when you click down, it'll make the fire sound, but you cannot do kill anything with it because we have not added the code yet. So next, let's go on to add the bat. For the bat, we'll need many variables. So we're gonna make a a variable called bat shot. So this is to detect if the bat is being shot, if the bat is shot yet. And then we're gonna make another one called bullet shot. Let's make another one, uh, coin shot, so detect if the coin is being shot. And then we have to make the offset X and offset Y for the bat, so set X. So this is just to detect if the bat, uh, this is just to pick random X position for the bat, and we'll make another one called offset Y for the pick random for the bat as well. Okay, so now we have all our variables. Let's continue on the bat. So in the bat, we're gonna start by getting a when green flag clicked. I'll zoom in a little bit. And then we're gonna set the bat shot by to zero, meaning the bat is not shot, not being shot at. And then we're gonna set the score to zero in the beginning. <clears throat> and then we're gonna set the amount of bullets to 25. You guys can pick whatever number you like, but we're gonna do 25 bullets. And then we're gonna get a forever loop. Mm, forever, sorry. <clears throat> forever loop if got an if then statement if the bat shot is equal to zero that means if the bat is still alive equal to zero the bat shot then we want to point in direction of 90 point in direction 90 to the right side and then we're going to switch the costume to bat 2a which is the first one because we're gonna make the bat flap its wings so that's why we want to set it back to the normal bat 2a <clears throat> and then we're gonna set the offset x to pick random so this is just gonna be pick random of where the bat's gonna be pick random negative 160 to 160 so it'll be like somewhere from this side to this side negative 160 oops negative 160 to positive 160 and then we're gonna set the offset y I'm just gonna take this and set the offset y to pick random negative 50 to 150 so 150 105 sorry not 150 150 would be too high so 105 is like about right here and then after that we're gonna get a go to so it'll go to the offset x and y it'll go to the corresponding numbers and then we're gonna show. We're gonna show the bat after it's at the right spot. And then we're gonna do something right here to make it even more random. So let's get an if else statement. Um, so if the offset x mod two, that means if the offset x is equal to zero. So we're gonna get a mod. We use mod in like another video. So if you don't remember what mod is, it means um, 
it means the two numbers divided the um the remainder so if the mod is zero that means there's no remainder so when the offset x and the mod 2 is equal to zero which means there's no remainder then we're gonna um if it's a that means if it's an even number we're gonna um go positive and if it's an odd number we're gonna go negative so we're gonna glide one second and pick random we're gonna get an addition sign so we're gonna add offset x plus the pick random 30 to 100 so this makes it even more random so if the number is even it would make it offset x plus 30 to 100 and then we're going to get this plus the offset y pick random 30 to 100 as well so um and then if the number is odd then we're going to do this so if, um glide one second and instead of adding we're going to do a subtraction okay so let me take this out we're going to use subtraction instead of addition if the number is odd so subtraction sign subtraction sign offset x minus 30 to 100 offset y minus pick random 30 to 100 all right so now we have finished the placement for the bat now we're gonna make the bat flap its wings so we have two costumes for the bat one and two and make it look like it's flapping its wings so for the bat we're gonna do one flag clicked um forever if bat shot is equal to zero meaning that if it's not dead bat shot uh right here then we're gonna next costume and wait 0 0.1 seconds so then it'll switch the costumes okay and we do not want to put this inside because we don't want to block the forever loop. We don't want to mess up this area. So we put this in a separate um, forever loop. Okay. So we're going to... So remember, we broadcast the message from here, shot fired. So we're going to have to broad, uh, receive it right here. So let's go to the bat. So... Okay, so when I receive... Let's go to events. When I receive a uh, shot fired, we're going to do an if to detect if the mouse pointer is touching the bat. If touching mouse pointer, if the bat's touching the mouse pointer, then we're gonna set the bat shot to one, meaning it is dead. And then we're gonna broadcast another message called bat dead. So the bat is dead. Bat dead. Bat dead. And then in the bat, we're gonna say when I receive bat dead, we're gonna do change the score by one so every bat you kill you will get one score uh, score by one and we're gonna broadcast another message called check score we will need later uh, we won't need it right now but we'll need it later so broadcast check score check score and then we're gonna switch the costume to bat 2b which is this one uh, switch costume to bat 2b and then we're gonna make it flip over by pointing in the direction of negative 90 and we're gonna make it repeat until touching round so point direction of negative 90 and then we're gonna make it repeat uh, repeat until touching ground touching the ground the sprite touching the Around. And we're gonna change the Y by negative four. So we'll keep on going down by negative four until touching the ground. Changing the Y by negative four. And then we're gonna start a sound called drum bass. We had this sound. You guys can pick whatever sound you want. We're just gonna use this one. It sounds like this. So we're gonna use this one. And then we're gonna hide it once it touches the ground. And then we're gonna broadcast another message called start again. Start again. And then down here, we want to get uh, when I receive, start again. We have to wait one second and then set the bat shot back to zero. 
so it is going to start a new bet that is alive. So now let's test out the game of what we have right now. Oh yeah, and sorry, I accidentally set the bullet shot, not the bullets. So right here, just set the bullet. Sorry about that. So that's why I was going negative bullets. So now let's see, 25 bullets. And now when you click it, the bat will die and disappear. And you get one score for every bat you kill. Like that. And the bullets will constantly go down every bullet you use. So if you're shooting, you're just going to keep losing bullets. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to finish the rest in the next video. So we just finished the target and the bat. So tomorrow, we might as well finish the baby turkey and the coins and the you win. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell as well. See you guys in the next video.